Hey Salam, I hope you guys doing well. I'll alter off his back for another video. And this time I'm making Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme. This Crunchwrap Supreme is gonna be mouth watering. Now if you've never heard of Crunchwrap Supreme, it is one of the famous items on Taco Bell's menu. I'm gonna serve it with green sauce, salsa, cheese sauce, and refried beans. It's gonna be amazing. Without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start with the Mexican spice mix and with the onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, red chili, some of these dried chili flakes, smoked paprika, freshly grounded cumin powder, a light touch of cinnamon powder, just a pinch of clove and with the salt and finally some dried oregano. Crush between your hands and add that in. A good mix to this. Now you can use the seasoning for tacos, quesadillas, stews, etc. For the refried beans, turn the heat to medium in with a good touch of oil and the oil is nice and hot in with your onions and red chili. Mix and you want to saute this. Now in with some grated garlic, touch of water. And just cook the rawness of that garlic as well here. Now in with the canned black beans, also the water from the can. Throw in some of the seasoning mix, mix. You want to cook and reduce this. While that's cooking, I'm just gonna mash some of these beans here. You don't have to mash all of these. I like to keep a few. All right, so I can see the water is almost reduced in half. I'm just gonna turn off the heat here. A lot of steamy, eh? Now we're going to finish this off with some fresh lime juice. And I like a bit of fresh coriander on there. Give that a mix. That looks mouth watering. I'm just gonna have a little taste. Adjust the seasoning if you need to. Mmm. Now for our beef, turn up the heat around medium high. A very light touch of oil, just so we can cook our onions. Remember, the beef is gonna be releasing its own fat here with our onions. Cook and saute these onions. You see, I'm mixing so all the onions are nicely coated with some oil. And with the beef mince, with the help of your spoon or a measure, you want to completely break down this beef mince. So there are no lumps. So I've completely broken down the mince as you can see. You will notice the beef will start to release its water. You want to dry some of this water and we're looking for a light color on that beef. Also now is the perfect time to throw our seasoning. Some people would just throw the seasoning on one part of the beef. This way is much better because you have broken down the mince and now you can add your seasoning. Give that a mix and keep cooking this. It smells amazing, it really does. See the water has almost dried out. So the beef have a beautiful brown color. We're just gonna turn off the heat now. Have a look at that. Have a beautiful juicy beef. Done. Have a little taste if you like. You can adjust any seasoning if you want to. Mmm. For the sauce in with the spring onion. One whole tomato without the skin. Lime, again without the skin. Birds add chili for a bit of heat. Squeeze in some fresh lemon. It was some fresh chives. Fresh coriander, oregano, touch of salt. Some of this water. Now you want to cover and blend this until nice and smooth. Now it's nice and thick. If you want, you can add a bit of water. Let's have a little taste. Mmm, so fresh. It has a bit of kick to it. For the tostadas, I'm using a white corn tortillas, some of the seasoning mix, some of the oil, and you just want to massage it all across these corn tortillas. Now you can use uh, yellow tortillas, it's not a problem. Now bake this in a preheated oven at 180 Celsius for around seven to eight minutes until nice and crispy. Make sure to turn them halfway. Done. For the cheese sauce in with the milk, Bring this to simmer. When it starts to simmer, throw in your cheese. This is American cheese. You could use the normal cheese, but for that, I would prefer you to make a roux first. Give that a mix and melt that cheese. And when the sauce is nice and thick like so, just turn off the heat. Season with a touch of salt and a light pinch of black pepper. Mix in your beautiful cheese sauce. Done. Let's grab everything. Also using here some of this tomato salsa, some of the fresh lettuce and tomatoes. Before we wrap up our crunch wrap, add a touch of oil into the skillet. Make sure the heat is on low, medium and let it get nice and hot. Now, first of all, you want to grab your warm tortilla. You can warm this up in microwave or in a skillet. Add in a good touch of beef 
in the middle, but don't fill this up too much. Add in some of that cheese sauce, some of those refried kidney beans, our crispy tostada on the top, some of this fresh lettuce, like a bit of the tomato. Be generous, but don't add too much. Some of our green sauce, just on the top. Tomato salsa on the top as well. A light touch of that seasoning that we made before. Some of this grated cheese. Finally, you want to add another tostada or a mini wrap just to make sure everything is nice and sealed. I'm just gonna cover it with this wrap here and slowly bring it down. Finally, you just want to start folding this and you want to place this on your hot skillet. Let this warm up on both sides until it has a nice golden marks. Guys, let's plate this up, add in your crunch wrap, serving it with some of this green sauce, refried black beans, some of this cheese sauce. I guess I'm gonna try this. It looks really good. Let's dig in. Bismillah. Mmm. Wow. So delicious. It's so juicy. The cheese, the sauce, those beans. Oh man. Alhamdulillah. That has to be one of the best crunch wrap spring. Trust me. Those flavors were amazing. The sauce, the salsa, lettuce, tomatoes, and our beautiful kidney beans along with the beef. You know, everything goes very well together. No wonder why this crunch wrap stream is so famous. You know, it can be eaten for lunch, for dinner. You know, it makes a great meal. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, make sure like. Inshallah, see you next time. Until then, salam. Make for your mom. Make for your dad, make for your family, enjoy.